What up, everybody? This is JP from Off the Ball. Now we're giving you a recap of week four of college football in the 2021-2022 season. Before we get into the recaps, make sure you subscribe down below to Off the Ball Network for more of your sports needs. Anything sports related, go to Off the Ball. Definitely check us out on our social media platforms. We got a lot of hot takes, a lot of podcasts, overreaction Monday, see you Sunday, up in flames, off the ball pod. I mean, just so many podcasts. Check us out on our social media platforms, especially Twitter. Definitely check it out. And also check out OffTheBallNetwork.com for all your sports needs. Shout out to the guys from Off The Ball Network doing their thing and getting it grinding every single day so that we could be the only four-letter company network in the world. Take out the other four little sports company hopefully one day hopefully one day but that's i'm just joking i'm just joking but let's get this growing hey we're in year two we had a great year one we gotta keep going we gotta keep getting bigger 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 so subscribe check out social media platforms check out website off the ball network.com so let's go ahead and get into it. So Flash though, Snake looking really good. Uh, yesterday against UNLV, UNLV, not really great. 38 to 30, close score. Jay Handel with 378 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, Charles Williams from UNLV played really well. Got 19 carries, 102 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Kedrick Wheatfall, five receptions, 115 yards. Pretty much Fresno State didn't really score anything. They were down 14 to zero, and they slowly made their way coming into the second quarter. Then third quarter and fourth quarter, they exploded. Congratulations to you know to Fresno State. And uh, Alabama pretty much didn't play to anybody. Pretty much uh, 63 to 14 against Southern Miss. Bryce Young having a really good Heisman season. 20 out of 22 miss. Only missed two passes. That's crazy. 313 yards, five touchdowns. Wardell Williams, 11 carries, 110 yards, one touchdown. Blingsley had five receptions, 105 yards, and a touchdown. Alabama is still the best team in college football. Number two, Georgia going against Vanderbilt. Very surprised because Vanderbilt is one of those teams that, like, they could play consistent. They could play really hard against really good teams. But they got shut out by Georgia, 62-0. to zero. I mean, goodness gracious. Stetson Bennett, 11 out of 15, 151 yards and a touchdown. Zemo Wright, 9 carries, 48 yards and a touchdown. Brock Bowles, 4 receptions, 69 yards, 2 touchdowns. I mean, it was 35-0 to zero in the first quarter. That is just crazy. I mean, crazy. They took the starters out in the second half and, shoot, the bench kept scoring. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Then Oregon restoring Arizona 41 to 19. Jordan McLeod from Arizona had was 21 out of 35, 233 yards and a touchdown. Travis died with five carries, 92 yards. Um pretty much like Oregon did the scoring in the first and the fourth quarter, scoring 17 points each. And they're still the best team in the pack. They're still like one of the best teams in the Pac-12, probably the best team in the Pac-12 going undefeated so far. Then we have Oklahoma going against West Virginia. West Virginia um, coming out and upsetting uh, upsetting so far, but there's two and two. Oklahoma destroyed, um, didn't destroy them. It was a very close game. 16 to 13, Spencer Rattler, 26 out of 36, 256 yards, one touchdown. Um, pretty much like... It wasn't really much of a game. I mean, it was tied 7-7 in the first quarter. And then, uh, you know, West Virginia scored three points in the second quarter and the third quarter. And then scored nothing in the fourth quarter. It was pretty much just like a back and forth, just defensive type of game. Because, like, nobody couldn't really score offensively. So, it's like... But, you know, they're still undefeated, you know. And um, so, they're still the number one, number four team. Iowa going against Colorado State. Iowa... 24 to 14. Uh, Spencer Petras played really well. 15 out of 23, 224 yards, two touchdowns. Tyler Goodson, 57 yards, 15 carries. Keen Johnson, two receptions, 92 yards, and a touchdown. Um, like I said, you know, hey, Colorado State, you know, put up a fight. You know, 14 to seven in the first half, and then Iowa scored 14 points in the third quarter and three points in the fourth quarter. So Colorado State couldn't really do anything in the second half. So, hey. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. 
Penn State still um, undefeated, 38 to 17 against Villanova. Sean Clifford, 404 yards, uh, 401 yard, and four touchdowns. Uh, Parker Washington, five receptions, 148 yards, two touchdowns. Penn State's looking really good so far. James Flake is doing a really good job over there. Keep it up. Arkansas beat Texas A&M, who was the number seven team, 20 to 10. And Arkansas is climbing up in the ranks. They're undefeated, too. K.J. Jefferson, 7 out of 15, 212 yards, two touchdowns. Traylon Books, six receptions, 167 yards, and a touchdown. Beat a really good Texas A&M team. Wow. And Arkansas, you know, pretty much was up 10 to 0 in the first quarter. And... Pretty much just K-State consisted through the lead, and they didn't look back, so congratulations. This is the game I don't really want to talk about because it involves my team, Clemson and NC State, where it was not really much of a, it wasn't really much of a game. I mean, it was just a defensive game, and like I said, defense was carrying Clemson like each game. And the offense couldn't really do anything. You cannot count out the SC State game because that's an exhibition game. I mean, pretty much you can score 50 points. But this one against NC State, ACC, like right here, ACC rivalry right here. And pretty much it went into two over, it went into almost two over two overtimes. Devin Lilly from NC State went off. I wish DJ would be that type of quarterback, but he's not. He's really not. 238 yards, four touchdowns, 32 out of 44. Um, Ricky Pilsen, 21 carries, 91 yards. Uh, MZ, 14 receptions, 116 yards in the touchdown. I ain't gonna blame the defense because defense did all they could. The offense needs like they need a, they need a change in the offense. They need some scenery, especially that quarterback position. You got pretty good weapons around them, but you need to change the quarterback. You gotta look. Ken, Ken, Keanu Reeves from the replacements could be your quarterback. Willie Bemo from any given summer could be your quarterback. Paul Crew from the longest show could be your quarterback. You can bring back Peyton Manning and just dress up like DJ. I mean, just something. We just need a change in quarterback. Like, like I mean, I mean, I know that will tr- trust him, but I mean, it's not looking good. Clemson is going back into the Tommy Bowden era. I don't want to go back to the Tommy Bowden era, but let's just appreciate the fact that Clemson had a really good one, you know, from the Deshaun Watson era. To Trevor Lawrence and now to now where they at now they're number 25 they're lucky they're still ranked but they lose another game they're gonna be out of the rankings pretty bad pretty much we're gonna talk about another ACTC team that's really it's not doing well right now so we'll talk about them later but yeah I mean they got to do something they really got to do something but NC State won 27 to 21 and a thrilling two over game uh, two overtime game so I mean, I don't know why I'm wearing orange. I'm, I should be wearing black because I'm just giving out eulogy. I'm still not over this game. But let's go ahead and get back on track. Ohio State versus Akron because Ohio State wasn't playing well at the beginning, you know, in the, you know, the first three weeks. And then, you know, eyes was on Ohio State. How good are they going to be, you know, because... CJ Stroud's not playing. They decided to bench him and put in Kyle McCore. I mean, it's like what, what's what we're gonna see here. So they beat Akron 59 to 7. Kyle McCore 13 out of 18. Good 19 yards, two touchdowns. Trevon Henderson, eight carries, 93 yards, two touchdowns. Garrett Wilson, four reception, 124 yards. Pretty much put a whooping on Akron. And then Florida going against Tennessee. And Florida destroyed Tennessee 38 to 14. Uh, you know, Emory Jones had a pretty impressive 15 carries, 144 yards. Uh, pretty much, I mean, it was Florida's game, you know, it was Florida's game. Uh, Nequan White had a really good game. So, hey, that's all I could say. No other game against Wisconsin, two ranked teams. Uh, Pretty much not a pretty much a distort destruction. Notre Dame destroyed Wisconsin 41 to 13. I mean, <laughs> goodness gracious. Uh, Kevin Austin Jr. went off. I mean, went off. Six receptions, 76 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty much like they were up. You know, it was 10 to 10. You know, like going into the fourth quarter and a 31 point explosion by Notre Dame in the fourth quarter. Just unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. I mean, dominated that full quarter like it was nothing here. So, wow. 
Then Baylor versus Iowa State, where you see like Brees Hall being a Heisman candidate, Brock Purdy having being a really good quarterback for Iowa State. Baylor beat them close. I mean, 31 to 29. I mean, whew, we Brock Purdy 22 out of 33, 263 yards and a touchdown. Brees Hall with you know. 27 carries, 190 yards, two touchdowns. Chase Allen, seven receptions, 98 yards. Baylor upset at Iowa State. BYU versus South Florida. BYU uh, won 35 to 27. Baylor won the 20 out of 25, 305 yards, three touchdowns. Tyler Agler. 15 carries, 86 yards, two touchdowns. Gunner Romney. It's not Mitt Romney. It's Gunner Romney. Five receptions, 119 yards, and a touchdown. Coastal Carolina from another South Carolina team. Probably the best South Carolina team in the state because clubs ain't doing anything. Destroy UMass, 53-3. Grayson McCall, great quarterback. Um, in, uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. 10 out of 14, 162 yards, two touchdowns. Braden Bennett, eight carries, 83 yards, and a touchdown. JVN Healy, five receptions, 118 yards, and a touchdown. Um, whew, you know, they're undefeated so far. Then what knows in Michigan? I mean, you know, Michigan should be destroying what knows, but what knows was, you know, undefeated. And then Michigan was is undefeated too, so two undefeated teams. Michigan barely survived. 20-13, to 13, uh, Caden McGowan, 9 out of 60, 163 yards. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just pretty much like, I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, second quarter, ex second quarter explosion by Michigan with 13 points, but they didn't score anything in the, they didn't score anything in the second half. You know, like Michigan's one of those teams that they play great one week and then it's like, what are you doing in the next week? Like, it's just inconsistency. But they still remain undefeated. Michigan State. Against Nebraska, Michigan State barely won 23 to 20. Um, North Carolina, another ACC team that had high hopes that we had at the beginning of the season with Sam Howell being a Heisman candidate. Georgia Tech, who Clemson beat, barely beat, destroyed North Carolina 45 to 22. Let me repeat again. Georgia Tech destroyed North Carolina 45 to 22. Just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Uh, Jeff Sims from Georgia Tech went off. I mean, went off. Only 10 carries, 128 yards, three touchdowns. How could that happen? Sam Howell, 25 out of 39, 306 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty much like Locon was up 7-0 to zero in the first quarter, and pretty much Georgia Tech just dominated North Carolina. Just dominated. They get, could not even... They couldn't even score double digits. I mean, goodness gracious. Then we had Georgia State versus Auburn. 34-24 to 24 Auburn. Uh, Bo Nix, 13 out of 27, 156 yards. Kobe Hudson, 5 receptions, 76 yards. Uh, UCLA versus Stanford. UCLA uh, beat Stanford 35-24. to 24. Uh, Zach uh, Komenet, uh Charbonnet, I, I, my apologies of, in, of messing up your name, 23 carries, 118 yards in the touchdown. Kyle Phillips, 5 receptions, 120 yards, 2 touchdowns. Oklahoma State versus Kansas State. Oklahoma State beat Kansas State 31-20. to 20. Spencer Sandals with 22 out of 34, 344 yards, 2 touchdowns. I mean, Che Martin, 9 receptions, 100 yards in a touchdown. And then this is your recap of college football in week four, where we saw a Arkansas going up in the ranks, and we seen Clemson going down. And um, you know, comment down below of your game and your favorite moment of college football week four. Um, who is the best team? Who is the most surprising team so far? Comment down below. And definitely subscribe to Off The Ball Network for all your sports needs. Like this like button at the end of the video if you like this video. And check out OffTheBallNetwork.com for all your sports needs. And shout out to the guys from Off The Ball Network doing their thing. I'm JP and we're out of here. Peace.